Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make a coffee cup. We're deleting uh, the cube by pressing X, we press 7, and we're going to add a mesh, namely a circle. We switch the vertices to 10. Why? Because we want a flat side uh, on the I axis, equal to the I axis. Okay, first of all what we're going to do is going to edit mode or that or by typing in edit a uh, tab sorry e z to let it grow through the z direction left mouse click s to open it up a little bit e z to let it grow again e left mouse click e z to let it grow a third time left mouse click s and angle it a little bit to the middle like that now we're going to selection to edges right click on that edge alt right click on that edge and f to close and this is finished the rough cup is designed now we're going to the toolbox where we have the first uh, modifier we're going to use as solidity and we're going to add some material but we want it on the inside like this if you want it on the outside just switch if it is on the outside by you switch from minus one to plus one and you see that the difference will change from side inside up to outside okay we press apply ah, we can only do that in object mode as we go to object mode and this is done i'm going to add the second supplier and we use the sub division surface and we put it at two okay now we go back to edit mode and we're gonna bring in some small details first of all we press ctrl r and we position underneath where we can see the this one and if we now turn you get two of them left mouse click s to drag him inside a little bit and this is done and on top we want it the same as ctrl r is a little slow yeah, and we move it up like a clean clean edge like that the same on the inside control R and we move it up like this so we get a nice clean look okay good this is okay uh, now we're going to add the eye and we're going to add the eye at this position where the flat side is equal to the base we use therefore the face selection tool right click on that one we press e and escape and then s and go to the center pay attention that you don't do not turn otherwise it won't work and reduce to approximately three hours. that's that 0 0.36 select the same over here press e escape s do the same over here do not turn otherwise it won't work like that if you have both done you select the both by pressing both shift and we're going to use the command e to extract we extract them something like that now we're going to select the right right click underneath and we say r i minus 60 no, no minus again we're going to select the, the top one and we press i i minus 60. we select both of them and if you already uh, added the add-on you can just press w where you can have it over here if you did not do that you go to file users We go to add on and we uh, scroll down to mesh and at the position mesh you see mesh loop tools you click that one on you save it and it should be okay if you now press w i forgot i think check it again loop tools okay save it refresh 
plus w okay then have we in the front loop tools and we use bridge and you see he already designed it there if there is something wrong over here that this is meaning that your or you didn't make the correct scaling or you reversed the scaling or the diameters of both of them are not okay now you bring it a little more to that and i think this is it you can pull it up and down uh, like you want uh, i want to render it again a little bit more okay three we go to object mode we apply i'm going to put a, a creamy material or pearl material on it so we get a little bit of a shadow okay and i give it the background of the sky or or something like this okay it's not important it's just to show you what it's approximately look like we put the camera and the light over here and we put the light something like three uh, we make the cup turn a little bit and it looks in the camera like that and we bring the camera a little backwards yeah we can position we position it like this okay we can render this is a cup of tea thank you for watching